I have been full-time streaming on Twitch, daily streams, for over seven years. And not once in that time frame have I ever received any sort of ban or suspension for any type of behavioral misconduct. Well, that changed on September 16th, 2024, just yesterday as of recording this video, because I have now received a suspension for, quote, hateful conduct. Now, the suspension email says that this hateful conduct took place on a live stream or a VOD of a live stream, although it doesn't actually give a link to the VOD. It doesn't give a date or a time as to when this hateful conduct may have happened. It doesn't even say what I said that was hateful. This is the most ambiguous email of all time. So I literally have no idea, honestly, what I even did or said or when I did or said it to get suspended. Now, curiously, this suspension comes at an interesting time, and I'll tell you why. Almost two weeks ago, I posted a tweet that was a little bit critical of online sex work. As you can see here, controversial opinion, I know. Now, in the conversation below the tweet, a streamer named Zequo decided to chime in and start taking personal shots at me, saying, Quote, Stay Safe is another talentless viewbotting leech who tries to stay relevant by regurgitating the same right-wing red pill talking points to his 10 real viewers. Okay, great. Not everyone has to like me. That's fine. In fact, I think a lot of people don't like me. This guy, however, is a Twitch ambassador, meaning he was hand-selected by Twitch to be a community-facing representative of the platform. Twitch ambassadors positively contribute to the Twitch community, from being role models for their community, to establishing new content genres, to having inspirational stories that empower those around them. These creators embody what it means to bleed purple. So this guy, a hand-selected Twitch representative, a Twitch ambassador, is publicly calling me a viewbotter and a right-wing extremist on Twitter. Okay, awesome. He then went on for 10 hours arguing with random people on Twitter about how I'm viewbotting, at which point I finally responded to him for the first time in this post here, which you can pause and read if you feel so inclined. Now, at this point, Asmongold gave his opinion about the Twitch ambassador Zequo's allegations that I'm viewbotting. I don't think that there's really a lot of evidence one way or another with this. I don't... Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, if Zico doesn't like, uh, you know, like, Stay Safe's politics, that's fine, right? That's a whole different conversation. But, like, uh, to say he's viewbotting, I just don't think there's enough evidence for it. So, yeah. So Asmongold dismisses these allegations, but mentions that maybe Zico doesn't like my politics, and that's why he's saying these things, which I think is true considering he called me a right-wing red pill extremist. And by the way, I want to give Asmongold some credit here because he totally could have taken this opportunity to dogpile on top of me alongside Zequo and other people on Twitter, but he didn't. And I think that's honorable. Now, what Twitch ambassador Zequo does next is insane. He completely drops the viewbotting allegations. He pivots away from the viewbotting narrative after Asmongold didn't agree with him. And rather, he now shifts to calling me a racist, a Nazi, a KKK member, and a white supremacist. Okay, so why would Twitch Ambassador Zequo say these things? These are pretty big allegations. What proof does he have? Well, this is where we need to take a trip down memory lane to early 2018, when a content creator named Alex Enchual, who some of you might have heard of, who hated me at the time, put together a very large image file full of screenshots that were entirely fake. Now, when I say fake, that word doesn't actually do the situation justice. This guy spent weeks building a mock, a fake Discord server meant to emulate my Discord server in which he used the same ranks, the same rank colors, the same usernames, everything to make it identical, where he and several members of his community impersonated my server to make it seem as if my community was engaging in that behavior. In all honesty, it was actually quite an elaborate hit job. I have to give him credit in that regard. Now, here's a clip from 2018 in which Alex Sensual is reading an S-Fan Discord post in which S-Fan sticks up for me and calls Alex out on his lies. What's this, s -Fond? What's this? What's this? Is this, is this not the message you sent to my moderator? 
I'll read it for everyone. Let me guess, it's photoshopped? I didn't want to say this in front of everyone, but the fact of the matter is this. Alex is a cancer to vanilla, and this is a message to my moderator. Alex is a cancer to vanilla, and he's a chronic liar that tries to turn people against other content creators with lies. He goes and gets what he wants out of people and then dumps them. He's done it time and time again, and I'm personally sick, sick of all the stuff he said about myself and Stay Safe, the racist, but especially tips in the last few weeks. It's completely unacceptable. Notice how Alex mentions photoshopped screenshots. This is because all the way back in 2018, people knew this is what had happened. People knew this is what he had done. He was faking all of this. Now, to add more insight into this, here's a 2018 clip from Asmongold himself in which he talks about Alex Sensual's scheme. Stay Safe had like this drama happen a while ago where there was this other guy um, that tried to pin a lot of racist things on Stay Safe that were not, that it was not his fault. He's basically blaming him, blaming Stay Safe for the actions of other people. And this is actually what originally caught, it was Alex, right? Everybody knows it's Alex. Um, this is actually what originally caused me to like kind of stop being friends with Alex. Because as a lot of you guys know, um, I don't like call out culture or any of this kind of stuff at all. So whenever I saw, whenever I saw him doing this, I was like, you know what? This is disgusting. I don't like this. And so. So it is this entirely fake and astroturfed image folder that Twitch ambassador Zequo is posting all over Twitter, trying to defame me and ruin my streaming career because he, he's decided that he hates me. But you know what? Let's say you don't believe me. Let's say you think the screenshots are real. Let's say you don't believe S fan. Let's say you don't believe Asmongold. Everyone is lying here. Well, you should listen to this next clip from 2022. Because I guess people on Reddit were bringing up the uh, Stay Safe folder. And uh, I just want to make it clear that, uh, you know, that was a mistake on my end. I should, I should not have done that. I mean, that was going too far. Um, and no, I do not think Stay Safe is a neo-Nazi. So I just, just want to make that very clear. All right. And if anybody wants to clip that and send it to stay safe so he can show it on stream next time someone brings it up, by all means, do it. So Alex Sensual, the guy that created the fake image folder in 2018, is here in 2022 recanting all of it, going back on everything. And still, despite this, Twitch ambassador Zequo is parading around these fake screenshots from 2018 trying to destroy my career, trying to destroy my life. Even a basic, just a basic amount of research would have yielded all of this information, but fact-checking basic information is much harder than spreading lies and propaganda and misinformation while trying to destroy someone's life. The hilarious thing is that in just a matter of minutes, you can make it seem like anyone said anything on Discord. It is painfully easy to fake screenshots like this. In fact, to prove my point, here are some screenshots from Zequo that I just got done faking myself. Now, don't get me wrong, in the past, almost a decade ago, I have in fact said some bad words on the internet. But these screenshots he's posting, trying to say that I was like calling for genocide and stuff like that, do your fucking research before you start throwing allegations like that. Now, all of this drama sort of settled down for a week, on my end at least, because I was out of town for the week, meaning that I hadn't streamed for a little over a week either. Then, after over seven days of not streaming, as I'm trying to enjoy my vacation in Kazakhstan, I get an email saying that I have been suspended for hateful conduct. Suspended for hateful conduct? My first ever suspension for behavioral misconduct in over seven years of streaming daily? As this Twitch ambassador is campaigning to defame me as a viewbotting Nazi white supremacist KKK member? Hmm, that's sort of weird. I haven't even been live on Twitch in over a week. It's almost like a vindictive and obsessed Twitch ambassador is leveraging his power and connections to get me banned. It's almost like that. That's so weird. And then I see that this is his reaction upon hearing that I've been banned. Check DM, the racist got banned. <laughs> Ha 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 
<laughs> this guy is Twitch's handpicked representative and ambassador spreading lies and misinformation about another streamer for weeks, abusing his position of power, then celebrating when he was able to get another streamer banned under false pretenses. Twitch ambassadors positively contribute to the Twitch community, their community role models. This guy? And what's even crazier is that Twitch Ambassador Zequo is actually going around telling people that I'm trying to get him cancelled. He's on Twitter saying, I will always cheer the downfall of Nazis, especially ones that try to cancel me. He tagged my employer and tried to have me cancelled, not the other way around. Now, what he's talking about, I assume, is my very first response to him in which I tagged Twitch when I typed Twitch Ambassador. So... Here's the deal, dumbass. The tag clearly was not an attempt to get you canceled. And for the record, you are Twitch. You are literally a Twitch ambassador. You have been hand-selected by Twitch to be a representative for them. You are Twitch. I feel like I'm living in crazy land as I'm reading him type this stuff. Stay Safe is trying to cancel me. What the hell are you talking about? You started this by publicly calling me a viewbotter and a right-wing extremist. Then, you spent 10 hours arguing with random people on Twitter about I'm a viewbotter. It was only after that that I acknowledged you and responded to you. After everything that you had done publicly. Then, when your accusations of me viewbotting got debunked by Asmongold, you pivoted to calling me a Nazi, sharing fake screenshots from 2018 that have likewise been debunked. And then, when I said that I wasn't sorry for any of this, and that if you're behaving like Zequo, you should fuck off, I had people coming to me saying, Bro, don't double down. All you need to do is apologize, and all of this will go away. You misunderstand the situation. Cancel culture freaks like Twitch ambassador Zequo don't give one shit about character reformation or sincerity. All they want is to see other people get destroyed. And this is made extremely evident, thoroughly clear, by his complete lack of very basic research before throwing around these extreme baseless allegations. I refuse to participate in this humiliation ritual apology tour every time some insincere cancel culture fuckface decides they don't like me and wants to see my life get destroyed. How about this? You can go fuck yourself. Twitch Ambassador Zequo has also been pushing this narrative that I am uniquely responsible for all of the people in his Twitter comments making fun of him and saying rude things for being such a fucking moron. Hey buddy, as I'm sure you know, I have no control over what other people post on Twitter. But if you want to go down this path, I will gladly go down the path with you. Are you responsible for all the death threats that I've gotten over the last two weeks? Are you responsible for the rape threats my wife has gotten over the last two weeks? Do you endorse that behavior? Because by the way, none of that was happening before you started calling me a viewbotting KKK member. You guys all need to realize the implications when someone like Twitch Ambassador Zequo, who has a huge amount of influence, clearly, flippantly uses these words like white supremacist, Nazi, neo-Nazi, KKK member. He is directly endorsing terrible and extreme behavior against the people that he's calling those words. What does our society do to Nazis? What does our society do to white supremacists, to KKK members? Well, of course, we punch them, we attack them, we threaten them, we kill them, we destroy their lives. So when he carelessly slings these words out, he is complicit in that behavior. Do you understand? So understanding the rhetoric being used here, it's not really surprising that I have had death threats and my wife has had rape threats for the last two weeks. That behavior, those threats are consequential of the words that Twitch Ambassador Zequo is intentionally choosing to use. And you know what? To everybody listening, Zequo knows this. He 100% knows this. He knows he can use these trigger words, these inflammatory words, to get people to yield and stand down and do what he wants. But guess what? It doesn't fucking work with me. People like Twitch Ambassador Zequo represent everything that is wrong with this online culture, with this online society. A truly corrupt, vindictive, manipulative, power-hungry freak who will abuse whatever power he has in order to tear other people down. 
And you know what? If posting this video means that I never get unsuspended on Twitch, then so be it. I'd rather flip hamburgers at McDonald's than ever capitulate or give one inch to a cancel culture power tripping freak like Twitch Ambassador Zeke. So if this guy thinks he can publicly instigate a fight with me, then go on to spread lies and defamatory statements about me in an attempt to destroy my career, and he thinks I'm not going to do anything about it, he is dead fucking wrong.